As professor said, the nations were born here in Central Europe before the independence, but we can see now a reborn countries regulation, the Phoenix Poland. So, Professor Sirit, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. I am honored to be a part of uh, this uh, network. Thank you, organizers and all my uh, team. Uh, to be here and uh, thank you that I can make uh, this research. Uh, after uh, hearing this presentation of Croatian symbols, I think that Polish regulation is boring. Uh, maybe it is because of uh, that, that in Poland there is no such diversity of uh, nationality. But uh, uh, I would like uh, to focus on uh, some uh, uh, elements of it. Of course, uh, because of the time, uh, this uh, historical aspects uh, uh, that I wrote in the chapter uh, is it not so important. And now I would like to focus on uh, legal basis on protection of uh, national symbols and uh, state symbols, and uh, on the case law. Uh, I would like to give some examples on uh, the uh, uh, using in practice the provision of Polish uh, legal uh, acts. Uh, so uh, first, uh, I would like uh, to say that uh, uh, there is a problem with definitions because we are talking in Poland about national symbols and state symbols and sometimes also a, a legislator mixed these uh, uh, terms. Uh, of course, uh, when we uh, are searching in literature, uh, there is div division between national symbols and it is uh, uh, understood as symbols that within a nation and in its relation with the outside world catalyzed the formation of national identity and serve to sustain it. And state symbols uh, are understood as symbols related to the state and connected with its history, culture, tradition. Uh, and so on. usually it is described and protected by law. And uh, all uh, uh, in this legal acts, it is mixed, and the judgments uh, also mix these two uh, aspects. Uh, what about uh, the main uh, legal basis? Uh, first uh, uh, one is constitution. Paradoxically, constitution is the uh, newest one uh, which regulated uh, uh, national and state symbols because uh, constitution is from uh, 1997 and we have also uh, the act on uh, the emblem colors and anthem of the Republic of Poland and on the state seals uh, which is uh, from 1980. So it was amended after transformation uh, of uh, 1989 but it is still enforced. Uh, this year, uh, there are some uh, proposal of new regulation of the uh, emblem, colors, and anthem, uh, but uh, they are still on this uh, governmental state, and uh, we don't know if uh, they uh, will be approved. So let's come back uh, to this uh, basic uh, uh, legal basis. Uh, of constitution. We have uh, regulated uh, national and state symbols uh, in Article 28. Uh, this article is in Chapter 1, uh, which is about uh, uh, the principles of the state. Uh, so, and the constitutional uh, legislator said 
uh, that uh, this uh, national and uh, state symbols are important, so there are uh, values uh, and uh, they should be regulated and protected by constitution. Uh, in Article uh, 28, uh, it is said that image of crowned white eagle upon a uh, red field shall be the code of arms of the Pub uh, Republic of Poland. Uh, another thing are white and red uh, colors uh, as uh, colors of Republic of Poland. It was said uh, in uh, Professor Todd's uh, presentation. Uh, we uh, have also uh, the regulation on uh, national anthem uh, and we have a name of it. It uh, Mazurkis, uh, uh, Dombrowski's Mazurkas. Uh, so, if we want to change our uh, national anthem, we have to change constitution. Uh, and we have, impro uh, we have a problem with the words of our uh, national anthem, so maybe uh, it should be uh, to reflect, to, to change something. Uh, it is considered now. Uh, and uh, uh, the constitution uh, says that the Code of arms, uh, colors, and national anthem of the Republic of Poland shall be subject to the legal protection. Which kind of subject? It is not said. Uh, uh, details concerning of uh, the code of arms, colors, and national anthem uh, shall be specified by statute. Uh, and it is specified in the statute, uh, as I said, from 1980, amended uh, after also an action of Polish con constitution, uh, but uh, almost from uh, 1919, uh, this uh, kinds of uh, uh, colors and uh, code of arm did not change. Uh, other things with the anthem, because uh, the anthem wasn't regulated in legal acts. Uh, after <coughs> first war, it was very uh, interesting uh, case because after enacting constitution of 1921 uh, uh, before second war uh, they uh, the parliament uh, uh, sang uh, other song other song uh, which pretended to be uh, an anthem uh, where there were um, for example events governmental events uh, there were another song and uh, Dombrowski Mazurkas uh, was sunk only uh, where there were deleg delegations of in, uh, foreign countries. So it was quite interesting and it wasn't regulated uh, not in uh, uh, constitution nor in uh, statutes. Uh, and uh, what about this uh, uh, legal act on uh, emblem, anthem and uh, colors of uh, uh, Poland. So uh, it is uh, very general. We can say it is a kind of administrative law uh, act. Uh, there are also uh, repeated uh, that white eagle colors and uh, Dombrowski Mazurkas are symbols of Republic of Poland. So there are uh, appendix with uh, uh, the colors uh, and the visualization of, of uh, these emblems. And there are also music notes of uh, our anthem. Uh, what's interesting, uh, very often uh, we uh, uh, play this Mazurka's uh, uh, anthem uh, in, in not correct tonation. Uh, so it is a question if it's cor correct and uh, if it is in accordance with uh, the uh, legal act. Uh, and uh, uh, what else is in this act on emblem, colors, and anthem? Uh, they are a description of these uh, symbols and rules of using it, using it uh, in public places during uh, ceremonies and also uh, in a private use. Uh, we should uh, uh, remember that also in this act, uh, this, it is written that the symbols of uh, Republic of Poland may not be 
affixed to items indeed for commercial uh, circulations, uh, but it is not so obvious because uh, it shall be permitted to place the emblem of colors of the Republic of Poland, uh, Poland uh, in a stylized and artistically processed uh, form and objects indeed for commercial trade. And uh, many cases before courts are on this uh, trade uh, aspects. Uh, if there was uh, a violation of using uh, these uh, colors and symbols uh, or not, and uh, uh, the uh, way of uh, judging uh, and reasoning of the uh, courts are not also uh, always uh, clear. Uh, of course, uh, in this uh, act of uh, on emblems, color, and anthem, there's also uh, a delegation that, for example, using the emblems uh, and uh, uh, these colors uh, f during uh, sports events and other events uh, uh, on where of the athletes uh, should be written uh, and should be described in other statute. Now it is uh, the uh, statute on sport uh, from 2010. Uh, so, uh, uh, and when we are reading this act on the emblem, colors, and anthem, uh, we can't find there any sanctions uh, on viol violation of these uh, symbols. And uh, because of that, we should go to other regulation, criminal regulation. Uh, it is a criminal code uh, uh, and uh, code of uh, offenses. This code of offenses is from 1970. So and I, again, uh, older than constitution and criminal code, code is from 1997, but uh, it is also uh, first uh, be uh, before uh, uh, constitution. And what is uh, written in criminal code, in Article uh, 137, uh, it is written that uh, whatever publicity defames, destroys, demetch, and uh, removes an emblem, banner, flag, or flag uh, of other state symbol, shall be subject uh, to a fine, the penalty of limitation of liberty, of deprivation of liberty up uh, to one year. Uh, so uh, the uh, sanction is uh, uh, fine or uh, uh, deprivation of liberty up to uh, one year. Uh, and as it was said, uh, in Poland we also uh, protect the symbols, the national symbols of other countries. Uh, but only if uh, uh, other countries protect our symbols. Uh, so here is a uh, universal uh, international rule, rule applicated. Uh, what's uh, uh, important in criminal code, uh, we don't have uh, exact protection of uh, the anthem, only the signs are protected. And now, uh, again, uh, during uh, proceeding before courts, uh, Sometimes uh, courts are more fle flexible and try to uh, uh, describe it, uh, this violation of uh, state symbols as a violation also the anthem uh, of uh, Poland. And in Code of uh, Offenses, it's uh, written that uh, whoever in a public place demonstratively shows disrespect for the Polish nation, uh, Republic of Poland, uh, or its constitutional authorities shall be subject of the penalty of arrest or a fine, and the same punishment shall be imposed on anyone who uh, controvers the provisions on the emblem, colors, and anthem of the Republic of Poland. So in the code of the offenses is the sanction for the violation, the provision of this act from 90. Uh, 80. And uh, as I said, uh, uh, despite of uh, the existing provision protecting the national flag and colors, uh, the problem of insulting the national flag was repeatedly the subject of the decision of Polish courts. There are no cases in which the 
preparator's action were over mildly symbolic as well as those in uh, which the behavior on the convinced person bore only the hallmarks uh, of uh, a hooligan uh, Very often this violation of national symbols in practice uh, are known because of the press and information in uh, TV or social uh, media. Uh, they are very often during uh, demonstration or uh, um, uh, public uh, events. Uh, and um, for example, uh, one woman uh, was accused of acting a hooligan act uh, uh, publicly and uh, not for a reason uh, because uh, she uh, was uh, showing gross disregarded for public order. Uh, insulting the national flag of Republic uh, of Poland. Uh, uh, she uh, hit it on the railings, causing uh, the breakage of the trunk and uh, then swung and threw the flock uh, in the windshield uh, and moving passenger car, causing the breakage of the windshield. Uh, and uh, 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 the accused attorney raised the fact that, that the subjunctive side of the insult was not taken care uh, of it uh, all by court uh, and a priori assumed that anywhere, uh, anyone who hits the flag on the railings and throws it uh, at the windshield uh, of the car commits an act prohibited uh, of uh, criminal court uh, and the court uh, uh, said that uh, mm, the insult uh, the, uh, contains a number of activities that can be undertaken to fulfill analyzed promise. And uh, such behavior, as uh, this uh, woman did, uh, spitting on the flag and trampling it, but it is also activated with a lower intensity of negative uh, emotion and less expression. And throwing uh, a flag and moving car and jerking a flag against a railing uh, is an internal, uh, intentional act, so uh, it should be uh, punished. Another uh, example was uh, when two men, having previously consumed uh, alcohol, were uh, uh, after uh, unsuccessful attempts uh, at arson, threw the flag into the moat and placed it in the trash can. Uh, and uh, they were punished uh, for uh, also violation of the uh, national symbols. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the, the court said that not always if uh, something like that uh, happened, uh, it should be punished. And uh, maybe uh, a an, uh, last one example uh, is about an anthem. Uh, one of the Polish artists uh, uh, transformed the text of a national anthem uh, it, uh, it was modified uh, with uh, changing words, uh, and uh, it was referring to the government as anti-refugees uh, policy. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, said uh, that was uh, an act of uh, artism, so it was not socially harmful, uh, so there was not a crime here. And to conclude my uh, uh, research, uh, it should be said that state and national symbols in Poland are flag, emblem, and anthem, and this national colors. Additionally, uh, it is a language uh, which is an important element in building uh, culture and national identity. Uh, after Poland gained uh, independence in 1980, shaping a legal solution con concerning protection of national symbols was important in public discourse. And uh, uh, this shaping, uh, we, uh, the, the shape of this discussion we see 
today in protection of uh, national uh, symbols. Uh, currently, the protection of national symbols uh, is shaped at constitutional, statutory, and substatutory level, uh, and uh, it is the uh, uh, proof that uh, our legislator uh, uh, respect these uh, values and uh, its meaning in shaping uh, the identity. Uh, what uh, uh, should be done, doubts related to the fact that the provision of the protection of state symbols uh, date back to different periods of time make it reasonable to enact a new act in this respect and to verify the existing provision contained a criminal status, especially from the perspective of the adequacy of regulation. In particular, it is necessary, in my opinion, to organize uh, the conceptual grid and to clarify what the state and national symbol signs are. It is important to formulate provision with strengthen the building of national and cultural uh, identity in Polish nation with ref respect uh, for the values on which the constitution of uh, Polish Republic is based and built. So thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for uh, the lecture of Poland. And as you said, the legislator uh, usually mix the terms. But this is the reason a lawyer can work. This uh, discussion is an essential part of the conference and an essential part of to be a lawyer. So I would like to give the floor of all distinguished guests. So the floor is yours and you can ask your questions for our presenters. This is Professor Sinai. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, my note connected especially to the uh, presentation of uh, Croatia and of course Professor Dalibor uh, Cepulo. Uh, that is, uh, uh, he uh, emphasized the importance of the uh, national language uh, in his uh, uh, presentation. And uh, I think uh, it, it's only a note. Maybe if, if you have an opinion, I'm absolutely curious, of course, uh, what is your uh, approach in connection with this. Uh, that is, you know, in January, uh, we um, dealt uh, in the frame of the Central European Association uh, of Comparative Law with the evaluation of the uh, scientific journals connected to law. Uh, in this uh, region, and uh, for us it was quite uh, unique, uh, the uh, approach and the uh, judgment of the Constitutional Court of uh, Croatia in connection with this. Uh, the question was, uh, in this uh, judgment uh, of the Constitutional Court, uh, whether the decision maker uh, could or not distinguish among the different uh, branches of the science and to determine uh, different uh, conditions in connection uh, with, uh, you know, the conditions, who can become a professor, uh, you know, during the promotion, maybe also connected to development, universities, financial issues, and, and so on and so on. And the conclusion uh, of the uh, uh, Croatian uh, uh, Constitutional Court uh, was that, yes, they can do it, and uh, they emphasize the special characteristic of social sciences, or some of them, uh, due to their um, the strong relationship uh, between the national uh, culture, national language. Uh, you know, I told that, for example, law, uh, you know, it can be uh, this, uh, uh, this special, uh, a member of this special group. Um, and uh, um, I think this uh, uh, constitutional court decision is, in my opinion, quite unique. Maybe some all around the world we can find similar, but I, I, I do not know whether it uh, exists or not. Um, and uh, I think it can serve as a role model, uh, maybe for other uh, states, uh, you know, this decision of the Constitutional Court of Croatia, you know, to uh, protect uh, their national culture in connection with the science as well. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, that was my uh, comment, that it's connected to the Constitution because of the Constitutional Court's practice. Thank you so much. Professor Chapuri, would you like to react or? Uh, okay. I'm not familiar with 
comparative, uh, I'm not familiar with comparative uh, language legislation, but uh, as far as I know from practice, French are probably <laughs> leading one in, in uh, uh, enforcing the, the importance of the French language. Uh, thank you for acknowledging we with, the, with the decision of the Constitution, Constitution Court of Croatia. I was not aware of it. <laughs> and what I see in Croatian academic practice, it's not completely comply to that. <laughs> Yes, but uh, uh, but that's that's the, the, that's the matter of uh, this discussion on research policy in each country, of course. Yes.